How can you use digital marketing to fill empty care home beds? Filling care homes that are struggling with occupancy with digital marketing is both an art and a science simultaneously. To learn more about both the art and the science, I recently had a conversation with Adam from Spring Up PR. Spring Up PR provides both digital marketing and PR services specifically to the care sector. And as such, Adam has amassed considerable experience in both fields. Today, we're going to explore a case study where his digital marketing services managed to fill a huge number of beds for a care home that was struggling with occupancy. I'm Simon Parker, and this is the Care Leaders Network podcast. Here's how one care home managed to increase inquiries by 300%, achieve 35% better occupancy, and add £600,000 worth of revenue in just six months. So Adam, you're going to have to tell me, how did you help a care home use digital marketing to fill 47% more beds and add £900,000 in revenue in just six months? So, great. Thanks, Simon. Do you want the long version or the short version? Oh, let's go for the long version. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll really tell. Long version. All right. Okay. All right. Well, would it be helpful if I start uh, from the from the beginning then about why this particular home kind of approached us. So this uh, this particular home, uh, Broughton uh, House Care Village, uh, based in Salford, um, they were their their occupancy was down. They're a sixty four bed home. Their occupancy was thirty five. Um, they needed help because they uh, needed more residents, particularly self funding private. Pay residents. They they felt they had an over reliance on local authority referrals. Plus, there was mass intense competition, which m- many listeners will know about from other care providers, other care homes in the region. Plus, they hadn't really recovered since COVID. Um, so all these factors meant that they were actual facts, you know, really uh, concerned with their occupancy. Um, they had a pretty good reputation lo- locally. Um, but the occupancy was was what it was, which is thirty five out of uh, sixty four. So that was the the underlying situation. Above and beyond that, from a PR marketing point of view, they they had a listing on carehomes.co.uk, um, and that was largely it. They had a pretty nice website, pretty nice. Uh, they have a pretty nice website. Uh, pretty good, um, but uh, on the purely on the marketing side and the digital marketing, that's it. They, they didn't do anything else, zero. Um, on the PR side, they were they had someone who was really helping them uh, create positive PR press coverage. In particular, this particular home had a connection with uh, uh, Broughton House uh, Care Village. They um, and they are a charity and they have connections with the, the, the uh, veterans. So they, they, they help in particular uh, and provide a care for families who've, who've had relatives who, who've served. So that was kind of their unique selling point, if you like. Um, so that was very much in their favour. But essentially, that was the situation. Um, they just needed, so for those reasons I've just stated, that more inquiries and private payers in particular. And so the, 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 the next, uh, so uh, uh, how it works for them, how we do it with all, all our clients, if someone comes to us, we uh, asking for our help, um, and we would do what's called a diagnostics, uh, and we, uh, and which consists of a questionnaire and uh, up to one and a half hours on video diagnostic times where we are really try to understand where they are at and where they want to get to and how uh, and only after that do they go through that process uh, and this I would recommend to any any care homes listening is that you know to devise a strategy uh, on how to increase occupancy and increase inquiries particularly from self-funding families, you need to like have a strategy and plan it out and you need to get buy-in from your all your senior team. Um, uh, but 
you need to understand where you are now and where you want to get to uh, in order to guide you as to what kind of strategy you implement. So, um, uh, so that, that's the kind of foundations. So, okay, so you've got a you've got a home which has got a fantastic USP, uh, which all care homes do have, uh, all, all care services. They they've all got all, all got that special source that 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 thing that kind of separates them from the uh, from the rest of the market. Uh, but it's very clear in this particular instance, you've got challenges around. Occupancy. I'm not sure they do. I'm not sure they. I'm not sure they do, Simon. I think the USP. Uh, if you see many care care home websites, it's like we deliver great care. We've got a great team. Mm. That, that, it's not always the case, um, you know. Uh, and I think that I, I think that, in my view, and what I see, is you're right. They will. Every home has a USP, really, but they, they may they... not necessarily have communicated communicated sure. it. Yeah, that that was what I was leaning in the direction of. Um, and and it sounds like. Because if you don't really know your unique selling uh, points or your unique selling proposition, um, it's very difficult to be able to re um, position yourself against the rest of the market. And if you're not able to position yourself against the rest of the market, um, of course, you're in a set of circumstances where you're a homogenous care service. You just do the same as everyone else. Getting cut through from a marketing perspective is, if, is it, excuse me, is incredibly difficult if that's the case. So I can imagine that that would be part of the approach um for how to get them that level of exposure uh and to be able to put that usp sent uh, front and center uh, and then obviously we've got the challenges yeah. around occupancy relevant to covid of course there's so many care services around the country that um just still struggling with the with the kind of the after effects of the of the pandemic and, and and things as well so you've you've laid the scene beautifully for us talk to me about um kind of I guess you've laid down kind of what the next step is so to, to go through the diagnostics process and things like that but where do you go from there talking digital digital campaigns like what's the what's the next step from there on in once you've done that diagnostic yeah yeah so <clears throat> a key area again as as many care homes will, will acknowledge and um, what we know is that 90 and this is research by lottie the the, the the online directory which probably you'll know uh, Ninety-four percent of families during the course of looking for a care home will be searching online. Yeah, and most care homes will say, "Yeah, we get we get inquiries and interest from the internet." Well, um, you know what is the perfect match for that is uh, um, is uh, the particular digital strategy for this care home is four prong. There is a four prong strategy. One of them was Google Pay per click ads. Um, and that's, uh, for those who don't know, is making sure that your care home is number one on Google via an ad, or it's called a sponsored uh, ad, at the top. So, for example, if you run a care home in Leeds and I'm a family member and I'm in Glasgow and I'm speaking about a care home for my mum and I do a search, good care home in Leeds, to make sure that your, uh, your care home appears number one on that Google list, and that's Google Pay Per Click. It's not Google Organic, uh, and that, and there are dozens, there are hundreds, hundreds of those key phrases that families will search. It could be anything from simple care homes in Leeds to a care home near me for my mum who has dementia, or nursing home near me, or um, uh, 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 recommend recommended care home in Leeds area. So there's, there's so many derivations, and, and literally hundreds of these, what we call golden keyword phrases. So for this particular home, one of their strategies was immediately to get Google paper click ads up, up and running. That was number one. Um, and, uh, and for those listening, you have to do very, like dozens of different ads and find out which ones works. I mean, they're, 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 you can get into the weeds about the technical aspect, but that's, that's the kind of number one thing that rightly they decided to do. Um, now, increasingly, we find with Google Pay Per Click ads, which you're doing, you're driving people to your website. Uh, and talking about USP, you can have your USP within those ads, uh, Google ads that appear. And then you're driving people to your website. You're driving people to make calls as well. And I'll come on to that in a moment. 
But what uh, we uh, now absolutely 100% recommend if you're driving Google Pay per click, and this is the second prompt uh, as aspect, is to have um, a live chat. And that's a not that's not just like, like we use. I'll give them a plug now. Chat for business, the specialist care home, uh, live chats, um, and they're our partner, and they are great because it's re it's a mixture of real person live chats uh, and automation. Um, but it's not just any old live chat. It has to be a live chat that um, a. Uh, 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 a provides immediate response to the, your, the, the person who handles the inquiries at the home. So if someone is on live chat uh, and they are interacting on live chat, that in, literally the person who handles the inquiries gets a text, someone's on your live chat now, so they can join, join that live chat conversation. Um, and what we find right now, 100%, if there's, if there's one thing I would want to convey on, on this podcast now is right now, 2023, Google Pay Per Click combined with live chat, uh, a good live chat, not any old live chat, will 100% get you more inquiries than you're already getting. Um, because right now, people are more accustomed to using live chat. And I've literally seen a sale made via live chat. The, you know, real person talking about that individual, or not necessarily sale, a booking for a booking for for a, a visit. The whole conversation is done there and then on live chat. Why people don't want to make an email? It's too slow. Yeah, they're not ready to make a phone call right there or then for whatever reason. But I, can, I, if I'm on a, you if I have a good live chat on a care home website, I can converse with them right there, right then, no delay. So we find increasingly people are using that. And why it's good for Google Pay Per Click, you want to capture those people fast if they're coming in from Google Pay Per Click. So that, that's the second problem. Um, um, if you, I can tell you about the third element, if you like. Please, let's do third and fourth. The so third and fourth is Facebook ads. And that's what this brought in uh, Care Village is still doing. So again, uh, You've been talked about the Google Pay Per Click, which is those people actively searching. It's called that intent. They are they've got demonstrable intent by searching for a care home, nursing home, care support, dementia services, whatever it that may be, within the catchment area of the home. Facebook ads is very very different. What that means is like uh, getting ads for your care home. If I am on my Facebook feed and I'm finding out what my friends are doing, and I'm finding out what photos and what wonderful holidays they've been on, or, or um, uh, you know, watching YouTube videos about dogs and cats. But, ah, this ads appeared on my uh, Facebook, and it's for a care home in my local area. And I happen to be someone uh, who's, on Facebook ads, you can target people by age. Yes, so you've been targeting people aged 45 plus within a certain area, again, the catchment area of the home. Um, and Facebook algorithms will do the work for you. That's why it's so useful to find people who are most likely, when you give your, you set up your ads, who are most likely to be your target audience, which for a catchment area of a care home is usually people 45 plus sons and relatives of people looking for care. And the idea is you're going to capture their attention with your ad. And like, oh, yeah, I'm thinking about a care home for my mum, my aunt, my uncle. Not really ready yet, but I'm thinking about it. Your ad has got my attention. So it's, a div it's people who are prospective families who are higher up the sales funnel, so to speak. They're not, like, actively searching there and then, because they are actively searching there and then, they would have um, got further down the, the, the decision. You're, you're actually using Facebook ads to attract, and this is what this Cohen did, to attract people who are uh, interested in the possibility of exploring this. Facebook ads is um, you know, another key strategy. Um, if you are, uh, one other point on Facebook ads, any Cohen system right now, if you put them up, you will get leads. Again, there's a strategy, good strategies to do good, good Facebook ads, Facebook ads that work, you have to test different ones. 
But usually, if you do it well, you will get leads. But however, the difference is 100%, 100%, 100% the difference is in Facebook ad leads is you have to call them and email them to get in touch because they are slightly different. They are, Facebook ads will generate leads. That's people who are interested in the possibility. And you have to then do the follow-up with them to find out what, who they are, what care might they be interested in. Is it for them? Is it for a loved one? What kind of care? Um, um, those kind of questions. You have to qualify them. It's different if you should see what I mean from a Google paper click inquiry, which is someone knocking on your door, going, I'm ready, tell me more. Facebook leads, you have to do the work. And I promise you, for anyone listening, if they run Facebook ads without doing that work on follow-up, they won't get any results. Or if they, if they do get results, they're doing it exceptionally well. You really have to follow up. Uh, 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 and you have to follow up quite vigorously. So that was the, the third element. And the, and the fourth is uh, tracking. You have to track all of this. You have to actually have tracking in place um, for, uh, and you can track, that's the beauty of doing digital marketing well, is you can track your Google pay-per-click, your Facebook ads, and you have a telephone call recording system. Again, I'll give them a plug. You, you, we use Media Hall, and they will record every single call that comes in. And you were able to find out how that call was handled, uh, whether it was a missed call, some clowns missed uh, calls. You can also f find out um, uh, you know, what time of day it was, all that kind of thing. And then you're able to track what happened to that call with not only where it came from, did it come from Google Paperclip or, or Facebook, for example, uh, and was it converted? But also for the care home itself, They've got a system to listen to those calls and understand how well they have handled that call. So it's useful for the ongoing and training. But if you're serious about digital marketing and doing it well, you have to do the tracking. Yeah, I can imagine because everything's so data driven with campaigns of this uh, of this nature, I'm guessing you should be able to get to a point or is it, is, it, is it even a reasonable thing to be able to say, right, okay, so I know if I put a pound into my ad spend, whether that be Google or whether that be paid ads through Facebook, that you, you will be able to get X number of pounds out? Yeah, so um, great question. So again, with tracking, and I've got my little cheat sheet here, but let, let me give you an idea. So with tracking for this particular care home, horse and house care home, average inquiries was eight, yes? Uh, average inquiries over the five months that we were doing this report uh, was around about 20, about 28 per month. So that was a 300% in more inquiries. But how do you know that? You know that because you track every single inquiry and you know where every single inquiry comes from. And not only do you know that, but you know how you followed up that inquiry. This is a key, key element is when everything goes well, there's key elements here. A, everyone has to have buy-in. Yeah, uh, so that means your senior team, your manager, 100% in, they must be buy-in to making not only digital marketing and PR, this home is doing a lot of PR as well. So everything is combining into this, uh, uh, this very efficient uh, system. Um, uh, where they were, you know, regularly getting noticed and talked about in the press, for example, and that made a huge difference. But also tracking the inquiries, but also a CRM, someone behind the scenes who was following up properly on those inquiries um, and tracking how they were getting on and then, you know, not sending them an email and then leaving it as that, but following up by a phone, by, by you know, uh, email or whatever it means, leaving text messages. So it, it's the inquiries and generating inquiries through a digital marketing stroke PR system is one thing, but you have to have the systems in place to uh, follow up on those inquiries. And to be honest, Borton House Care, that's why they have, that's why they particularly have done so well is because everyone's bought in and they follow up. Yeah, and just but going back to your question about the data, the data that you can you can get. Um, I'm just going to my cheat sheet here. 
I'll, I'll give it to you now. But you know that uh, on the Google Paper Chip side, uh, over a period of five months, the ads were seen 20,000 times. We know the cost per conversion, and the conversion in Google speak is when someone takes an action, i.e. they've, they've uh, clicked on the, or, or your Google Paper Chip ads, and they've done something afterwards, such as downloaded a brochure, made a, a call, um, talk to you via live chat, for example. Those are what we call, Google language is called a conversion. So for this particular care home brought in the house care village, £31 per conversion. We also know what that we know that the preferred keywords are and key phrases that people are, 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 are using most, most often. Um, and for, uh, for this particular home, it was 7,668 spent in, in ad spends, uh, and they were securing a new residence for about, about a thousand pounds per ad spend, which, which and considering their their residence last you know in financial terms is well over a hundred thousand. You, you calculate yourself the ROI on that. So that's the beauty of it, is literally, you know, every any number that you ask for, you will probably have here because it's all recorded. You've done a great job of explaining why that campaign specifically was successful. What would you say? Um, what would you say other care providers can learn from uh, the Broughton House example? Hey, they've got to do it. Just do it. I mean, like, do it, do it, uh, um, do it properly, and I guarantee you, you're going to get more inquiries than you will be now. Like, just do it properly. You will be. Uh, so. Um, uh, so that'd be my first thing. But two main two main things I would say. Everyone has to have buy-in to to it because uh, you know to to endeavour to increase occupancy by getting more inquiries, particularly from self-funding families, is a big thing, and you need everyone to be involved because everyone does need to be involved. The senior team needs to back it. Uh, and, and the, the people on the ground, the care home manager, from the care home manager to the person who's taking calls and inquiries, need to be 100% in. So then it works very, very, um, with maximum efficiency. Uh, and the second thing is just following up on inquiries. Uh, and that does not just mean, and that means not following up five days later, that means following up within two hours. Well, certainly within the day, within eight hours, but with, within two hours. Uh, and in, uh, you know, the beauty of live chat is you can do it right there, right then, which is one of the bonuses of live chat. But yeah, within two hours, and it does not mean just sending an email. It means following up. So how do you get my email? What do you think? Can I help? How can we help? Would you like, are you interested in coming in? Are there any more questions? Can I send you any more information? Uh, would you like to speak to anyone? There's so ways you can demonstrate that you will are trying to help. It's not about being salesy, uh, but you know, again, anyone those the, those people who work really, really well in this sale, what I would call the sales side, uh, will, will know know this. Um, but that's key, uh, and that for this particular home, that's a hundred percent what made a difference. They follow up, and they follow up really, really well. That's awesome. So the key message there is get on with it. Try Facebook ads, try Google ads, make sure that you've got the correct infrastructure, make sure that you're tracking it. But most importantly, make sure that that follow up is of the absolute highest quality as uh, as well. So, Adam, uh, uh, you've uh, you've passionately conveyed the, the importance of the uh, of the message. And it's great to hear how you use digital marketing to, to fill all those beds and generate all that additional revenue in such a short space of time. So Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the work that you uh, that you do. And thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me on, Simon.